What's up guys? Today I will be telling you guys about six of the main types of weather instruments scientists use. So let's go to the thermometer. The first weather instrument is a thermometer. And you've probably seen your parents using this instrument when you had the flu. It has a liquid inside it which used to be mercury but now is alcohol. It measures air temperatures in degrees, Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. Scientists use this weather instrument for locating the temperature and adding the results to the weather map. Sling psychrometer. The next instrument is kind of related to the thermometer and it's the sling psychrometer. You've probably seen your parents measuring something in the washroom before the shower. Well, there's a fair chance you might see this, but your parents were measuring the humidity in the washroom to know to keep the fan in the washroom on when they shower. The sling psychrometer measures the humidity in percentage. It also measures dew point in the morning in units such as Celsius or Fahrenheit. When you swing this device around, the water in that wet cloth will evaporate, cooling the temperature down. Our next air instrument is the barometer. Scientists use this instrument for locating the air pressure in different areas. If the pressure in an area is low, scientists estimate the weather will be rainy or stormy. But if the pressure is high, it's a fair chance for the weather that it will be sunny or cloudy. But why? It happens because more pressure hits down on the ground, which doesn't let evaporation go up to collect dust, which creates a cloud. When scientists are done locating the pressure in different areas, they mark them down on a weather map with an H which stands for high pressure or in other words, happy weather or with an L which stands for low pressure or in other words, lousy weather. A barometer measures air pressure in millibars or inches. Our next instrument is the rain gauge. This is simply a cup which has a ruler with units such as inches or centimeters which measures the amount of rain that has fallen. Scientists use this tool to see the rain pattern to guess more accurately for the next time that rains. The next two instruments involve wind. First is a wind wave. It records which direction the wind is coming from in units such as north, south, west, and east. Our final instrument also includes wind and it's called an anemometer. It records the wind speed as in miles or knots.